Hey folks, it's time for Twip Pro Photo Critique number 89. This is Twip. Hey, welcome back to another This Week in Photo or Twip Pro Photo Critique. I'm sitting down once again with my good buddy and partner in crime, Mr. Troy Miller, to talk about some of the latest submissions to the, uh, the Twip Pro Critique area in the community. Uh, this week's topic was negative. Could have been negative space, could have been negativity, could have been, you know, negative charge, whatever. But it was the word negative and however the community members decided to interpret that word. And we got a lot of really good submissions. Troy Miller, you see, the, you see the, this week's crop? What do you think? It's great. It's better. It's better than I thought it was going to be, if I can say it that way, because... I wasn't sure that the theme was going to translate really well, but everybody really embraced it and came came across with some really amazing images. I'm very excited. So you came into this negative. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, it's it's when you pick a theme like that, you're like, God, I really hope I really hope it makes sense what I'm explaining. Right. Like it's yeah. it's hard to explain because we didn't have examples. Right. Uh, but, you know, the Twip Pro community is is brilliant and they came up with some really killer stuff. So I'm super excited. Yeah, they did. Yeah, they did. And we have uh, we have a, a couple of stragglers from last week. So some people that submitted photos for the story teller uh, topic from last week that didn't get them in time to be reviewed. So th we're going to review them, you know, at, at the end of this one. They won't be eligible to win the, ne the negative favorite, uh, you know, title. But I want to make sure we talk about them, give them some feedback if we can. Definitely. All right. Are you ready to dive in? Get I'm some... ready. Yep. I got them all got, loaded here. Yep. You got your negative feedback already? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be positive during the negative theme. You're going to be positively negative. That's what you're going to be doing. <laughs> That's what I do. <laughs> all right. Here we go. So we're looking at the Twip Pro community right now. And we are going to go in first to the latest one. Armando Brooks is first. Uh, and I'm going to close this window there we go all right Armando says nothing positive in this image i don't uh he says i don't use to show this kind of view but I, he's also he also can't just close his eyes and um armando's from brazil so he says uh this was close to the city of cupatayo i think very poor and polluted before sunrise he, he edited this in lightroom and the new luminar 4 nice all right let's take a look wow. look at that it's definitely negative yeah so it definitely does not make me want to take a sip or go go swimming in that water anytime soon right 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 and and you know it 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 also prompts me to think like the the manufacturers of these bottles and stuff that there should be some responsibility there maybe right yeah. like mm -hmm. i i feel like it's too easy just to toss that stuff away um Certainly something worth highlighting, you know, an image yeah. like this. This isn't an image that I think we need to hide from people. You know, we need to know that this exists in the world and... and a lot of this exists in the world. Yeah, 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 yeah. a lot. Um, this is, I mean, this is a great image of negativity. I mean, it, it really does show, you know, the negative side of civilization, right? <clears throat> yeah, and like you said, you know, it, there it is... You know, I wouldn't say nothing, but there's very little positive about this, you know, that we can see... You know, the family that lives there may be extremely happy, you know, so mm -hmm. but we can't see that. But from from surface value. Yeah. The only thing happy in this this particular frame is probably the trees. Right. <laughs> right. They're, right. Getting, they're getting what they need. And, you know, that's it. And but plastics. No, plastics in our environment are, are terrible. Um, you know, from from microplastics to, you know, just huge quantities of plastic entering our ecosystem it's it's really a bad thing yeah and it's not going away it's not slowing down i've seen i've seen some um some documentaries and some some things that some companies are making to help mitigate the issue of plastics in the water you know whether it be a river or lake or oceanic and uh they're they're, they're making a, they're making dents but they're just dents right now and there's i mean you've, you've seen the giant plastic floating islands in the Pacific, mm -hmm. right? Which mm -hmm. is just like, oh my God, we mm -hmm. live here. We live here. And this is, <laughs> you know, there's no other planets in the solar system right now that we can move to easily to continue our polluting. So right. <laughs> we have to fix, fix it here. 
We need From a Elon photographic there. standpoint, though, looking at this one, um, the I don't know. Do you see? I see an overall sort of green cyanish tint on this shot, almost like it's not white balanced. Do you do you um, see that, or is it just me or mighty? Yeah, I think that maybe that's just the early morning light, and then you know Armando tends to saturate his images quite a bit. Mm -hmm. So I think that maybe that's it. I I you know looking at this, I would I think I would love to see this in black and white. Mm -hmm. um, because it would take all that color out of it and it would really just make us look deep into the image and and the the graphical element of the hut or the you know the building in the middle <clears throat> would really draw our eyes in and then make you hunt for other elements in the image so um it does it does feel a little bit saturated but not bad do you think black and white or infrared oh infrared would be amazing mm. yeah infrared would have been all killer that, all that greenery in there yeah yep yeah the greenery would have went would have went bright Cool. Everything should be infrared, at least a little bit. <laughs> yeah, I figured. I figured. <laughs> I figured this shot. You should have your eyeballs replaced, man. Just get it done. <laughs> um, this, uh, yeah, I figured this particular shot of all the submissions this week would mess with your OCD the worst. <laughs> it's just, uh, <laughs> it just pushes you over the edge in so many different ways, and then you know so much so that you're just like, you need to just give up, and then you know. Yeah, you want to clone all that stuff out in the water, but that's kind of what it needs to <laughs> that's be the there. Point. <laughs> that's the point. Yeah. That'd be a good cloning exercise, though. Take a shot like this and see oh if you gosh. can't make it look, you know, like inviting. Take this shot and make it look inviting. How could you do that? Well, we got to wait for Luminar to make a water replacement tool. <laughs> yeah, there you go. There you go. <laughs> well, cool. Armando, thank you for that. Very good shot. And uh, we're going to move on to the next one here. Joshua Sommerfeld is up next. And Joshua says, I bet you thought negative was a theme I couldn't turn into a photo of a spider. Now you feel <laughs> silly. Yeah, yeah, I do. Yeah, I do feel silly. <clears throat> That's cool. That's an interesting interpretation of negative. You know, it's literal. I think this could be a double negative, right? So it's oh, literal because yeah. yeah. it's on a negative and, it, you know. Yeah, I don't like spiders, so that's that's a negative. <laughs> it's a negative of a negative. I don't care if the spider is throwing up the Richard Nixon peace signs, you know. <laughs> right, <laughs> right. But you know, I'm, I'm what I'm noticing is is that it's a negative, you know, themed of a negative, but the the letters are positive. So if we had flipped this around to mirror it, it would have been a negative negative. Very true. Yeah. Very yeah. true. But I like the I like the shot. I like it a lot. Yeah, yeah, I do too. Yeah, and it's a, it's a good interpretation too. I love the, he's got scratches on there and everything. See the scratches on the negative? I do. And I'm that makes me feel bad too from a person who's lived in the dark room <laughs> for a while. That, that is not good news right there. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if those are scratches or web. Oh, but on the right maybe, yeah. Oh, yeah. Or it, that it just could be part of an overlay, a texture overlay you put on the whole thing. Yeah. Yeah, very cool shot, Joshua. Thank you. Yeah, very nice. You and your spiders, man. <laughs> All right. Next up is Amy Brooks. And Amy says, foggy day in Bandon, Oregon, taken last week. Negative space, negative dock. Shot with her Fuji X-Pro2. Wow. Look at that. Yeah, that's foggy. You ever driven in something like that? I have. Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. quite scary. Um, yeah. This is this is really a wonderful image. I mean, it's this is what I want to see this on a wall big. You know, because mm -hmm. it mm -hmm. feels like a space that you can just enter into. Yeah. And just stare at. Do you think since you're the king of key lining and, and borders, do you think this one needs a border or is it fine? Just sort of free floating like this? You know, if if it depends on the presentation method, but I think that if, if this had a really fine black key line and then like a quarter inch or, you know, a very small white, I think that it it could help make the image stand out on its own. Cause right now it's kind of floating in the middle of the frame. Mm -hmm. Um, so yeah, I think I, I'm always a big fan of presentation always mm -hmm. trap it. Yeah. Trap it. Yep. Yep. It looks, cool. it looks nice. It looks nice. I love this Is image. That a though. bird back there. You see that right there? It's like a bird on one of those posts. Yeah. Can you, I can barely see it right there. I, my only, cause I, I keep trying to think like, what, what would I do to improve this? Um, mm -hmm. I think it would be really cool if you crop down from the top and actually put the top of the post and the bottom of the post reflections like like dead center. 
Mm, mm -hmm. You know, so it feels like a perfect mirror of itself. And that would add that would add a little bit of mystery to the to the image as well. Yeah. Yeah. It would make your your, make your brain give a little bit of pause to figure out what's going Mm -hmm. on. Yeah. This is great. I would go back and photograph this a lot. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. But you don't get fog in Southern California. So. (laughs) Well, not like that. Not that cool fog. No. You got to come get on the get on the Golden Gate Bridge and let the fog monster roll over you. I would love to see that. I was just there. I had no fog. Oh, yeah. There is a fog monster here. All right. Next shot up. James Glennie. Uh, emerging from the void to pounce upon the world. <laughs> Look at this little person. <laughs> this is amazing. This is just cats. so yeah. wonderful. Let the record show <clears throat> Frederick Van Johnson loves cats. Always, yeah. will, always will. Sorry. Deal with it, dog people. <laughs> yeah yeah this is great you know it, it, what a wonderful use of negative space um and i love the fact james that that you held your kitty's right eye that we were able to see the right eye in there and it didn't go totally black yeah right here yeah yeah i love that yeah i love these kind of shots yeah and it's simple too i love the simplicity of it mm-hmm yeah and i'm looking i don't know if this is my monitor or can you see right here I don't know if this is coming through on Mighty. Like right in this area, I see a horizontal line. It looks like like it was maybe part of the original photo. Oh yeah. Did you see that right there? Oh. Uh, it looks like uh yeah, it looks like maybe oh down the left side I see it a little bit too. Yeah, it looks like it was dropped in. Yeah, right here. Yeah, like all this wasn't there and this this is the mm-hmm. photo right here that was on a black background. But an easy fix to, of that would have been just, you know, white balance or white, whatever, white balance and eyedropper this and say that this color is black to knock it all down so it would match, right? Right. So or, James, or fade it or mask it or however you want to do it. Yeah. So what, so what I like to do is when I do a composite like this, I put a, on the very, very top, I put a layer, like a, a levels layer or a um, curves layer. Mm-hmm. And then you, you crank the contrast. And it'll show you all the places you've cloned. It'll show you, you know, little tiny variances in shadow. Mm -hmm. I mean, this may only be like 10 points off on black. uh, But when you print it, you may see it. And that's how I learned to do that. So um, that way you can see where these things blend together. Because there's nothing worse than printing a 60-inch print and then realizing like, oh, crap, you can can see that. (laughs) (laughs) You can see my tracks. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. But other than that, I think it's good. I love the concept and all that. But yeah, to sell that illusion of this having been taken at one time, mm-hmm. um, yeah, get rid of those lines. Yeah. This this is awesome. This is clearly one of my favorites. Yep. Likewise. Likewise. And, and this is one that doesn't need cat. to be trapped, right? This one, like yeah. we were talking about the last image, putting the key line around it, the black is trapping the, the cat already. Mm-hmm. So you don't need any help to, to trap the subject in this shot. Right, right. I would, I would agree. Yep. Very cool. All right, Mr. Glennie, thank you, sir. Moving right along to Michael Duray. Michael says that moment you encounter the negative attitude of a new friend. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now I'm a dog person. See, here we go. <laughs> you know, so, and now I love dogs on this shot. So. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's me. That's me looking at my passenger like, really, do we really have to listen to this music? <laughs> like, seriously, this song again. This I, I, is see cool. the, I see the car on the other side and I'm thinking like they're sitting in traffic and like you, you had to pick. You had to pick the Thai place across town. Really? <laughs> exactly. I told you not to take the bridge. I told you. <laughs> Hey, I get that reference now because I was there, right? Uh Now I get it. You understand. You understand. You got, oh, you got to taste the Bay Area traffic, right? It's lovely, isn't it? Oh, I did. I did. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we're we're coming, we're coming. I don't know where all the bridges are, but, you know, we're leaving one area and it said make a right hand turn and it was going to take us one direction where there was no bridge. And we're like, oh, we missed it. It'll just remap. Oh, that means you drive through town and you take the bridge. And, It was awful. Uh huh. Yeah, Bay Area, and and we're still importing people, so you know, it's gonna keep going. It's gonna keep going. So, what uh-huh. do you think about this shot from a from a negative standpoint? You know, the the topic of this critique is negativity or negative. Um, what do you think? I don't, I don't see the 
you know, without the, without a title, I don't see the negative right away. Um, mm-hmm. I, I just I just see a very uh, whimsical shot of a dog sitting in a driver's seat. Yeah. So uh, I don't see the negative side of this. Yeah. Um, it's a great shot. I love the black and white treatment, the the little bit of grain. Um, it looks it looks like we have a little bit of a halo around the the big puppy's snout right there underneath his eye like right here yeah yeah i don't know what that is if that's like just fine hair getting caught and lit or if it's actually a halo mm-hmm. but yeah, i love you can the see shot. It a little bit around the head on the top too just a little bit right up there yeah, yeah. cool yeah yeah that's a good shot i agree i agree it's uh, not not particularly negative um but i with the caption it becomes negative right it becomes an, an interpretation of negative right right yeah. Cool. All right. Thank you, Michael DeRay. Thanks, Mike. <clears throat> All right. Next shot up is from Mr. Mark Harris. And Mark says, negative. Part of an art model session for my portfolio. He shot this with his Nikon D850. Let's take a look. Studio. Oh, bear studio flash with a grid. Okay. I like this one a lot, too. Oh, this is so good. See, now I'm looking for those lines, like, on the on the cat. <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> like, was it shot like this, man? Or, you no. Know? <laughs> no, he shot that on, like, looks like a seamless. If he Maybe he cloned it out at the bottom, but, um, no, it looks nice. I like the fact that there's a shadow in there, and he left the shadow nice and dark at the top. I like that. Yeah. I, I probably would have done this image horizontal as opposed to vertical. I feel like the horizontal space, like I feel like it would have been better to have the negative space behind your subject rather than above. Mm, like chasing her, yeah. Yeah, it just, it, it it's like it's like she's moving out through the frame and exiting out the right. This, this all that negative space above us doesn't, I don't, I don't have a story there, right? Like my brain doesn't fill in that story. Yeah, mine does a little. Mine, I, I think I like the vertical because it, I feel like it's, you know, she looks like she's under some sort of duress by virtue of the fact she's crouching at the bottom. Um, and it, my brain goes to, goes to, okay, that's a lot of negative oppression at the top of her pushing down on her. Oh, like weight? Yeah. Yeah, it's like weight. It's like just a heavy black negative weight pushing down on our subject at the bottom. So, yeah, I bet it could work either way, because if, if it was horizontal, like you say, then it, this negative void is chasing her versus right. pushing down. So it's still negative. So, yeah, it's 50-50. Right. You know, the, the more that I look at this, um, the more that I wish that it was just her in pure black and the highlight areas were the areas that stood out as opposed to, you know, on her backside, you can see that the background isn't as dark so that she stands out. <clears throat> I think this would look really neat, sort of like that whole film noir, very, very uh, Hitchcock, where it's pure black and like there's this interview light almost or, you know, uh, off to the side that's lighting her, the single light source. Mm-hmm. So she's more in a void. Maybe just bring bring all the tones down except the ones on her body. Yeah, that'd be interesting, too. Yeah, yeah it'd get very dramatic. I like the simplicity of it, though. I and mean, I think I gravitate towards simplicity like this. It's really nice. Well, there's not a lot of stuff in there for our brains to to nitpick. Now, speaking of nitpick, uh oh, <laughs> on her go. right I, shoulder, right there, <laughs> that right, hair. right, <laughs> yeah, there's a, there's a hair. <laughs> Is that a hair? Yeah, it's a hair. I thought it was a scar. I couldn't tell what that was. I think it's a hair because there's a shadow. Um, it looks like she has like a little mole on her shoulder there, and and then the hair is making a shadow. Yeah, see like a little piece of blonde hair. Yeah. Yeah. So you would have taken that out? I would have taken the mole out too. Um, but then again, you know, I, I try to be really sensitive to, to those kind of things. But definitely, definitely that hair should should go. Yeah. yeah. Sorry, Mark. I found the hair. <laughs> you knew he would. That's probably a test. Sorry. Yeah. And, and, I, and I do want to comment, like, on her left hand, I like how it's not firmly placed on the floor. I think that's a neat subtlety. I don't know if that was on purpose or not. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it adds a little bit of tension. Right? Mm-hmm. Like she's in motion. Yeah, she's not doesn't quite have her balance or footing yet. Mm-hmm. Yep. Nice, nice shot. Lots of good shots this week. All right, Stephen Sharf is up next, and Stephen Sharf says, "Shadow Rider, light is positive and shadow is negative." This is San Jose City Hall. You were there for this. I'm guessing. Was there. Look at that presentation. Look at that key line and that. Ah, oh, I love that. That is uh-huh. so nice. Yeah. Yeah, this is a cool shot. 
That is so nice. Um, yeah, I and would... it's a brain teaser too because my my brain is looking at this and it, it can't figure out if that front wheel is on the ground or not. Oh, no pulling... kidding! Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Is he pulling a wheelie? I can't tell if he's pulling a wheelie or not. So... Well, now that you're telling, now that you're saying that, yeah, but you can tell because the shadow's not connected. So correct, correct. Yeah, but you got to think about it. It makes your brain linger a little bit longer to put that together. I do. I like it. Yeah, this was this is a really wonderful shot. I was I was there for these. Um, I would bring the highlights of the concrete up a little bit more. Just my personal preference because uh, it was fairly bright. Um, but I love this crop. I like that. Yeah. Yeah. This is cool. This is really cool. I like this one a lot. I, you know, now that I look at it again big, I really like this shot. It was really, it was so much fun. We're out there at City Hall photographing infrared for me, of course. And uh, the, the building is gorgeous. It's just so much fun to photograph. Yeah. Um, and then we and then we figured out that the planes come through at, at intervals. I have an app so I could see where the planes are coming through. So we're putting airplanes in the, in the landscape and stuff. And then these guys are riding around. I'm like, oh, my gosh, I got to see these shadows. So uh, yeah. we went over and talked to them, and they were more than happy to, to show off for us. So it was That's super cool. fun. That is cool. See, San Jose people are friendly. Come on. They were. They were great. Yeah, it was good. Love it. Love it. Definitely want to go back there. All right, cool shot though. I mean, I I really I I'm I'm slowly being sold on the idea of borders and key lines. Just telling you, <laughs> just telling you, because I I think this comes from being old school. To be honest with you, because back in the day you weren't doing that. It was, you know, in the dark room, as you remember. If you wanted to put a border on there, you went to the matting room and you picked up some some uh, some mat board and you cut it at a at an angle with the mat board cutter and you mounted it in that thing and you had your mat on there. You know. Yeah. It well. Actually, in the in the dark room, I mean, for me, because I didn't use a frameless uh, uh, easel, so all my prints I ever printed in a dark room had a border because that's how oh. it held the print, right? So. Oh yeah, that's right. We had some of those. Yeah. yeah. So we threw and, those away when we got the frameless. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, because you were modernizing, right? It's like all the cool kids don't want yeah. these borders. Yeah. <laughs> I hated the frameless because it was a piece of glass and I didn't want it to touch anything. So. Yeah, yeah. They're really interesting. Cool. Yeah. All right, Stephen Sharp. Thank you, sir. Shadow Rider. All right. Up next is Michael Rhino. My. Michael Rhino says, my negative space entry come from my June 2019 trip to Iceland. I shot with this. Everyone with these Nikon D850s. That's crazy. Because they're bad ass. They're awesome. <laughs> You're you gave yours up though, didn't you? Didn't you go to the dark, the mirrorless dark uh, side? I got rid of the D5. Um, and I still have my D850 because I I still need two two card slots when I shoot weddings. I still oh, need yeah. that. Um yeah. yeah, they got dinged on that a little bit. But 99% of what I shoot now is only on the mirrorless. And I gotta tell you, so nice. Welcome, welcome to the world, my friend. I know, I you know. You just need a Nikon Z2, I think. I do. And the two will the, will be the moniker for two card slots. I hope. <laughs> so. Gosh, I hope so much. <laughs> hey, they can't not not do that. Come on, you know. After all that, after all that feedback, if they ignore that feedback, then they deserve to be sidelined. <laughs> <laughs> so. I have faith. I have faith in my Nikon friends. Yep. All right, well, looking at this shot, what do you think? So again, reminder, the topic is negative. So we got to see negativity in here. And we're going to look at it from a, from a compositional standpoint, too. Um, I'm looking up. The first thing my eye is being drawn to is right here. I don't know what this is. I don't know. If, yeah. That, is that supposed to be there? Is that part of the clouds? Or is that an error? I feel like that's a, like, like, like maybe a bit of a cloning error, you know, Some like kind of a dust spot removal or... There's a couple dust spots in there. Maybe that was a big one. I don't know. It's really odd. And, you know, realistically, even if it even if it was just like legitimately a cloud that looked like that, I would still fix it because we're brains, talking about it. And, yeah, yeah we're you're, to your it. brain see it and be like, what is that? I don't know mm -hmm. what that is. Yep. Yep. Totally. And then the other thing is, um, uh, well, speaking of brains, my brain wants to know what the subject of this shot is. Right. right. Is is it the waves, which are spectacular? Is it the sky, which is also spectacular? Or is it these these uh, objects in the foreground, which are kind of spectacular and interesting? Right. So I don't know. What do you think? What What do you think is the topic or the subject of this? Um, I'm not seeing a lot of negative space that that I'm being drawn into in this image. So really what this is for me, this is the photograph of the ice. 
Um, and I think we've seen a lot of these images from from this area before, and I have never seen one where you actually get the wave partially breaking, which I just think is brilliant. I just think yeah. that is absolutely fantastic. So I just love that. Um, so for me, I, I see this as the ice, and I would crop off probably half of the space on the right, and I would crop down to barely leave those clouds in at the top because I like that color. It's and then it becomes the red in there, the oranges, yeah. Yeah, and then it becomes about the uh, uh, the ice, and then our negative space would sort of be the 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 top left quadrant at that point, which would be the wave and the water. Yeah, so there's and a lot. Then of... They converge, right? They'd they'd converge quicker, mm -hmm. corrupted like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, as opposed to the negative space being maybe behind the ice, I see the negative space in front of the ice. Mm, interesting. Okay. All right. I buy that. I buy that. Yeah, this is I just like the shot though. Yeah, very except for cool. that, uh, except for this the schmutz right here and the, the schmutz, the, the, the schmutz. schmutz and the sensor dust. There's another one right there. See that right there? Uh huh. There's one on the left too. Uh, right there. Yeah, right in right there. there? Yeah, right in there somewhere. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that's two seconds. Got to get rid of those. There's probably yeah. more down here where we can't see them. Yeah. All right. That's what happens. It's the nature of it. Yep. That's right. Thank you, Michael Rhino. Excellent shot, sir. Yeah, bravo. All right. More negative space from our friend down under, Mr. Craig Stanfley. Let's take a look at this shot. I like this shot a lot, too. I like this. He's, he's, Craig <clears throat> is so, he is so, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Meticulous and yeah. purposeful with his, with his shots. And you could it, and it shows through that there's not just and I told him this during our during last week's um, member mixer that his shots are obviously well thought out and he thinks yeah. about every little sliver of detail in there before he clicks the shutter. Yeah, you know? and 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 I and I thought that that was so cool because I I had messaged him a little bit because for me. I'm very um, I'm very organic the way I shoot. I walk into a space, I kind of just figure it out, right? Um, and he wrote a really nice little post about how he went and he set up his lights ahead of time and he pre-scouted. And I'm like, I don't I don't do that enough. Like that would be I want to go in a shoot with him just so I can I can, you know, practice that. Yeah. 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 And I like the negative and then the negative space. It's interesting because the the negative space in the shot. Um, yeah, I had, I had to check and see. I had some, I had some schmutz on my display that was interfering with his <laughs> negative space. Uh, but the negative space in this shot is, you know, clearly down here at the bottom. Yep. Uh, but I love how he did the tension because this is a nude, obviously. But he cut the the breast of the nude like right there, so you can't tell, which adds tension to the top and mystery to the top. So you have negativity and then mystery and then. It looks like she's, I mean, she could be running up the stairs, but obviously she's probably just posing. But the body, right. you know, and the energy of the diagonal lines, it all it all just really works together, I think. Yeah, yeah. For me, there's there's two things with this image, actually three. Um, I would love to see it black and white. And I know mm -hmm. he did he did post he did. one, which we get to see here in a little bit, which I yep. just, I just love the black and white. Um, and I wish that her right knee wasn't, breaking the line of her left shin oh yeah yeah that's that. that's just being nitpicky and then of course uh i i, I want to crop it down from the top so we just below her left fingers on the handrail so yeah so if we crop mm -hmm. that across the top then really what we get is we get the legs we get some of the lace at the top of the leg um and then our imagination can kind of run wild with what's going on there. And then the negative space at the bottom becomes much more prominent. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. So get rid of the whole upper torso right? mm -hmm. and, all, and all of this complexity and just mm -hmm. legs and, and lose the protruding knee. Mm -hmm. I thought you were going to say something about this, the, the disembodied toe over here. Yeah. That, that, that doesn't bother me so much because I, because I, we know that it's stairs and we know that it's, you know, this is normal. We see it that way. If if I was posing this and I could manipulate it, I would probably have gone up one more rung, so the foot wouldn't interject that vertical post, mm -hmm. um, those kind of things. But it's not a make or break for this one. It's certainly not. Yeah. Um, and yeah. and the points that I made don't don't make this image significantly better. This image is fantastic. I think 
from the work I've seen from Craig, this is some of his best series. Yeah, no, for sure. And he left plenty of space for text down here too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, to promote his workshop. Yeah, there you go, right here. Easy. Very cool. Thank you, Craig Stampley. Yeah, I dig it. Never disappoints. All right, and the last for this negative series is from Lamb, and Lamb says, theme negative, title, useless equals negative. When machines become useless, the productivity is negative. How very yeah. true. That same goes for humans, too. So. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Get off the couch. Go to exactly. Stop sucking up oxygen. Do something. <laughs> This is cool though. This is his his work, like his Lamb's work from from what we've seen over the past several months tends to be graphic and very saturated as well, right? And this this is in that same sort of vein. The sky is very saturated. The greens mm -hmm. are very saturated. It's very crisp and intentional. What do you, what do you think? I no, I agree, and and I and I like the fact that Lamb's work is very introspective. Mm -hmm. um, there's always a little bit of a deeper story behind it. I, I like that. Uh, with, with an image like this, where I struggle is all the highlights that we have behind the main shovel. So what looks like maybe a road on the right in the center, the, the other piece of equipment in the center, in the back, um, they're distracting from the main shovel. So mm. it, it would be better if the shovel was in light and the rest was like in shadow, you know, maybe different time of day. Um, some, some clever dodging and burning, maybe an HDR, something to bring the tone down. Yeah. 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 I agree. I agree. But I love these kind of things. If I see these, I'm photographing them for sure. Yeah. Yeah. The corrosion. Yeah. He, and he definitely nailed it with the negative, right? Cause it is, you know, it's, it's sort of a sad shot of a machine that, you know, probably enjoyed doing its work. And now <laughs> it's no longer allowed to do what it was designed to do. So <laughs> Right, right, exactly, exactly. It's been abandoned there and is now, you know, oxidizing and, and being overrun by weeds. So very cool. Thank you, Lamb. Appreciate that. All right. So then that's the last shot for all the entrants. And before we move on, let's, let's pick a favorite. I have, I'll tell you my favorite is right now, and that is this one. Oh yeah, good choice. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. Stephen Sharp's. I mean, it, it's very. It's technically, you know, it's probably as close to perfect as it could be. Um, and, you know, he nailed it with sort of the interplay of of shadow and light. You know, to nail the negativity theme. Yeah, like a he's positive and negative. Yeah, positive and negative. Yeah, he's trapped our cyclist in the middle there with with Troy's favorite uh, <laughs> tool there, the key line in the border. And it's interesting. And, you know, like we were saying before, the, the sort of semi-optical illusion that makes you think a bit about that front tire being connected. Is he popping a wheelie or is he not? Until you make the connection that if he was, if both wheels were on the ground, then you'd see a shadow attached to both, which we do. Right, right. So, yeah, so yeah. really good shot, Stephen. Congratulations. That's really nice. Yeah, I'm, I'm with you. And by a narrow margin, um, I think that uh, James and Mark's would be my second runner-up equally. Yeah, yeah those are... Yeah. Those are both fantastic. Yeah. Just yeah. the use of And I thought that too. Yeah. And the only reason I, I had to knock this one down from being in considered as a favorite was because we see that telltale line, those, you know, of, of compositing here. So if that was gone and it may have been the favorite, James Glennie. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> uh, and then the other one that we liked was this one, yeah, Mark Harris. Right? Yeah. Yeah. And you were, that's bugging you, the hair and the mole on the shoulder, right? The hair is so bad. Isn't that terrible? I just, yeah. I see that. I wouldn't going, say terrible. No, I no, say it's, it's terrible it's that, it bugs, that it bugs me that bad. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'll be, yeah. I'll be in the world and I'll look at somebody and be like, take that hair off your shoulder. Get that <laughs> hair out of your eye. Like... <laughs> Oh, man. Yeah. Yeah. I think the world is evolving in a direction that is not conducive to Troy Miller's brain. I'm just no, saying. my OCD. <laughs> oh, my gosh. It's awful. Yeah. 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 Welcome to the club, man. See, that's why we get along so well, because we're, yeah. we're we both have that <laughs> affliction. We're both freaks. Yeah. Yeah. I'm happily a freak, though. All okay. right. So moving down. So some of the people that didn't that had late entries last week were James Glennie and, and Craig Stampley. They submitted these after the recording uh, was done for the critique last week. So let's take a look at these. 
Uh, yeah, and this is from that same series, mm -hmm. Quietly Down the Stairs. Yeah, this one, you know, this is why I said the the black and white. Like this one, I just love. I just love this one so much with the with the color. And notice how it's it's um, not split in the middle, so the the it's weighted to the top to the mm -hmm. stairs. The negative space is a little bit lower. Yep. Um, she's in between those two posts. Uh, the the legs overlap. Fantastic. I mean, that's just that's just perfect. Yeah. Yeah, that is really nice. Yeah, her nice. right foot feels a little bit weird because it looks like it's laying on top of her toes which mm -hmm. i'm not sure that's a natural movement it's a like cute pose yeah who walks down the steps like that you mean yeah <clears throat> yeah dragging their tops of their feet on there but it's right. a cute pose either way yeah yeah well and this was remember this one was for the topic of storytelling right mm -hmm. uh, so does this tell a story it does i i think i think she's headed downstairs to get some more wine or something i don't know <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> there you go. Or she got the wine. It's in her hands, and she's the bedroom is downstairs, right? So that she's. Oh yeah. Out. Okay. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> Very cool. Thank you, yeah. Craig Stampley. Very yeah. Nice. Well done. Love the shadow and yep. and just the intention of lighting and everything in here is just really wonderful. Yeah. Yeah, and folks, if, had you been had you attended the member mixer last week, Craig Craig gave us a nice walkthrough of this whole series and his mindset behind putting it together and sourcing of the models and the location and all that stuff so it was really good all right and the last one that we missed uh was from james glenny probably what do you say probably too late for the story theme but i'll post it just in case all right let's take a look and then the last one mighty's gonna take forever to load yeah. okay here we go all right yeah Canada. I I want to you know we we did say for the story theme that it needs to tell a story without you know titles or descriptions. So mm -hmm. it does definitely tell a story. I would crop it a little bit tighter, um, top and left for sure, yeah. um, to bring our attention in on our subjects. But uh, I just I just love that. I just his hands holding the gloves and the and the leash, you know, and then his hand gently on his. I don't know if that's like a pet or a service dog or what the connection is there. Yeah. Yeah, I agree with the cropping. Yeah, because this this, um, this tree right here mm -hmm. sort of distracts a little. Um, as does, the, for some reason, this, this hand, this person standing there is distracting me too. Yeah, just a bit. Yeah, so maybe if it was just this hand, it wouldn't be as egregious. But if you, yeah, you just crop that off and then over this way and then down like that. Yeah, like you said, just sort of punch in a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. But it, I mean, the, the comp compositionally, it's really, really nice. I love the fact that the, you know, the dog is looks semi calm and kind of looking off and it, yeah, it's really great. It's a great shot. Very I, want the dog to be, I want the dog to be looking at him though, you know, so, like looking back up at him, you know, like, can we go walk now? I'm tired of standing here or sitting here. Yeah. Yeah. James, can you maybe tell us a little bit more about what's going on in here? Just yeah, the, yeah. Please do. Yeah, in the community, let us know. Like, what it, what is happening? Was this a parade of some sort, or what? What is going on? Yeah, like yeah, it's that. very cool. We do know that this was taken, uh, like what, twenty seven minutes before eleven. <laughs> twenty seven. Mi oh, you're looking at the watch. watch. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There you go. Very cool. All right. Well, we have our winner. Yeah. We have our, um, uh, we go, well, we could say they're runners up, but they're not actually runners up, right? They're, they're, they're still favorites, but just with a few little nits in there that could have been a little <laughs> bit different. This is a little bit different, but yeah. yeah, I think Steven nailed it. Steven, Steven Scharf definitely nailed it. So, yeah. 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 You, you've been to Steven's house. Does Steven's house look like a gallery? I just, I picture it looking like a, like a photo gallery. Inside you know, there. Steven's house is like a, uh, is like a, like a concert hall kind of, he's got this, he's an amazing audiophile, which, uh, is way over my head. Like I'm not an audiophile at all, but he, he played for us some music on his system and it's insanely amazing. Mm. And then he's got these beautiful black and white shots up on his walls of, uh, of, the San Jose uh, City Hall. So yeah. it was great to get to go there and see these big images that he has and then get to listen to this amazing music where we're editing. And oh, it was great. It was, yeah, it's very cool. That was cool. And you recorded a, a critique from there, right? 
We did. We did. Yeah. Yeah. We got to visit his cats. Yeah. Yeah. The giant cat, the, the mythical giant, giant cat that roams around Stevens. Oh, yeah. It's not mythical. Yeah. That's <laughs> <laughs> a griffin. Yeah. Love it. All right. So you know what we didn't do? We didn't pick a topic for next week. We didn't pick a topic. I pick negative. I'm going to leave it to you. I'm going to put the camera on you. you. Negative. You're on the hot seat now. Look at that. Camera's on you. Can Troy oh, Miller God. think on his feet? Let me just pull <laughs> ideas out of the out of the sky. There you go. There you uh, go. How about how about um, how about leading lines? Leading lines. I like it. All right. Leading lines. Because we talked a lot about negative space, right? And so this this kind of goes along the lines. Yep. of leading lines so yeah yep so that means uh hey craig you can submit another one of those photos of those legs walking downstairs <laughs> <laughs> that's kind, of, kind of leading down like that no that'd be great that'd be really cool all right so leading lines is a topic for critique number 90. dude you believe this we're at 90 already i know you gotta think of something special to do for for 100 100. Well, you know what? It's interesting because TWIP is coming up on its uh, birthday, you know, so a 10 year anniversary. So I think maybe we'll do something, you know, that coincides with 110 and you know, all that stuff. So stay yeah, tuned. maybe we should do like a wrap up of all the, the previous critiques or something like the picks from all the previous ones. I like it. Yeah. Maybe we should do a wrap up of the 10 best ones the 10 best favorites and then pick a favorite from that favorite and give that person a prize. I like giving away prizes. I like that too. Yeah, <laughs> I like that too. Yep. It's better to give than to receive. So, um, speaking of that, uh, for folks that may not know it today, as we record this, it is Monday, the 18th of November, 2019, which Maybe. is a day that will live in infamy because it is the day that Troy Miller, came out of his mom and joined <laughs> the human race. <laughs> this is Troy Miller's birthday, ladies and oh. gentlemen. So happy birthday, Troy Miller. Thank you. <laughs> so how's it feel to be old enough to drink now? That's yeah, I know. <laughs> I, I'm, I finally made it to 21. Yes, you did. Yeah. <laughs> happy birthday, man. Congratulations. You guys had any uh, got any big plans for this? For uh, I have plans, but I don't know what they are. I'm I'm not allowed to do anything today. I'm not allowed to plan anything today. I'm not allowed to go anywhere. I um I'm just a passenger. So oh, very cool. That's I'm assuming good. they're hanging out in food, which is good. I like that. That's a good way to be. I'm right behind you. My birthday is um, actually on Thanksgiving this year, on the 28th. So, yep. Turkey, uh, please, if if you know who you are, if you're listening to this. No cake with a turkey frosting on it. <laughs> no oh pictures. Don't merge the streams with my birthday and Thanksgiving, please. Don't do that. And for all you people worldwide that have birthdays that fall on holidays <laughs> or loved the loved ones of those people, don't merge their birthdays with the holiday. Don't do that. They don't don't like cross that. the streams. Don't cross the streams. Let the birthday be separate, even if you have to push it to a different day. <laughs> So it would be suck to be it would suck to be born on Christmas. Oh That's my brutal. gosh. Awesome. Awesome. Yep. Well, cool, man. All right. So we have our topic for next week. It's leading lines. Leading and, lines. And our winner for this week is the illustrious and competent and amazing photographer that is Stephen Scharf. Stephen Scharf. Stephen Scharf. Scharf. Cool, man. All right. Well, I'll let you get on with your birthday. Thanks for letting me uh, take a piece of it for the Yeah, of course. Community. All right. Yeah. So take care. All right. Take care, yeah. bud. See Happy you. birthday. Bye, guys. This is Twitter.